Hi all, welcome to my channel. This is another video on Google BigQuery. So, in this video, we will see how we can query data using different options available, like uh, BigQuery Editor, BQ Tool, and also Python API. Right? We'll try to see what are the interactive and batch queries, and we'll try to results. Sorry, we'll try to write query results into some other BigQuery table, and what are the different options available to do that? And also, we'll try to save and share queries. Okay. We'll try to explore these options now. Okay. As I already discussed, so in order to query, right, in our previous videos, in order to query data from the BigQuery, we need to have these IAM permissions. These are the two important permission. User or individual user or group should have when it jobs create or tables create data. Okay. So anyway, these these individual permissions are part of different other predefined roles like data viewer, data editor, data owner. If you combine data viewer and BigQuery job user, you can query BigQuery table, right? So like that, we have different predefined roles available. And also, we'll try to see how a BigQuery cost is associated with different parameters. One parameter is storage, that means the amount of data you are going to store inside BigQuery table. Right, that is that is one parameter they'll be considering while deciding the cost for usage. And second parameter is query process. That means how much amount of data you are going to process through that query. We'll see that in a while. Okay. And also stream inserts. In case of batch inserts, there is no cost associated, but in case of stream inserts, there is some cost asso associated. Right? Okay. Now we'll see as part of this demo, we will try to query data using different options available like Python API, BQ2, or BigQuery Editor through Big, BigQuery Console. And also we'll try to export the results and also we'll try to write results into some other BigQuery table or some file. And also we'll try to see how we can save queries or how we can share queries. Okay. Let us quickly move to the demo. Now I'm into my GCP, GCP Cloud Console. Now, in the first case, we'll try to query data using the query editor. This is one of the some simple example query where I'm trying to query this table and also performing some simple aggregations and performing some filter, right? Filtering data, right? You can see, just click on compose new query. This, this table is already available as part of this demo. Okay. So, let me delete this this how you can delete some table from a data set okay so okay now this is the table we have i'm trying to query this table right you can see just observe this this query will process 1.6 me when you're trying to this query it's going to scan this table and this is coming around 1.6 me okay based on the storage and also this parameter they are going to right charge some cost or amount okay now go to this option so just format this query then this will format our query and also go to the query settings here we have different options available this one is save query results into a temporary table this means whenever you run this particular query this will the result will be saved into some temporary table we also call it as a cache okay that means whenever you try to run this query second time, the same query, it's not, it's going to use that cache results into return those results. That means there will not be any cost associated with it when you are trying to run the query second time, same query. If you change some part of that query, then try to run that query, then again it won't use any results from the cache. It's again going to execute that query. Alright. So in that case, they're going to charge some cost based on these two parameters storage and also the query process right so here we have different options available job priority interactive and batch now we'll try to discuss the difference between interactive and batch so interactive means immediately whenever you paste some query into bigquery editor you are going to run that query immediately then this is the option which we are choosing if you go for batch that means once you just paste some query 
and try to run the, that query then it will be put into some queue in case of batch mode whenever the bigquery resources are uh, resources are available then then it will execute that query so you can keep multiple queries in a queue right so this is batch option right so in in this case i'm going for interact right and also here we have one more option sql direct to go for legacy that means you are going to use legacy sql you can see immediately if i select legacy now this query has been error out right while validating the syntax itself it says encounter this right we'll see that in a while now let me save this settings now try to run this query you can see results are coming now let me try to run this query in using legacy sql for that just change the query settings to legacy save right you can see now there is some error syntax error because this is not a legacy sql syntax you have to change it to legacy sql syntax now it should be okay now you can see now this is legacy sql try to run right so this is one way to switch between legacy and standard sql there is another way we will see so let me again come back to standard sql say now change it okay the another way to switch between legacy and standard is this just by providing this keyword or syntax just use this symbol and type this keyword standard sequence that means it is in a standard sql format so try to use legacy sql since it's already in standard sql it's not throwing any error but go for legacy in such case see there is an error now change it to standard sql now try to run okay you can see this is how you can switch between legacy and standard sql now we'll try to write these results into one more bigquery table for that let me first select this standard sql now i have a standard sql query go to the settings query settings now go for set a destination table for query results let me select data set okay right we have this data set already available table id query result now you can go for one of this option right if empty append to table over a table i'm going for over a table okay over interactive that's it save it now you can see here whenever you try to run this query it clearly says it's going to store the results into this particular table right and also option override let me run this query now right so now you can see there is one more table created just go on go to this table click on preview you can see the results right this is one option where you can write the results into one more bigquery table using this settings option now is there any option available right just click on this results uh, this option save results right if you see whenever you try try to save result there are many options available like you can store this result into a csv file which is available in the google drive or csv file local csv file or json google drive or json local and this is other way to store results into bigquery table right you can go for this and also google sheets and also clipboard right if you go for this option again it is asking the data set right go for this data set results export see one more table has been created or else go to save into oh, now you can see see this has been saved into my local folder just open up this csv file it will open up that csv file you can see this so this is one more option okay 
right. So, this is how you can export results into a high or a table or else you can write results into one more big query table, right. Now, we will see the option to save query, okay. So, you can see this is the same query I am trying to save. Go for go to this option save, right. Click on save query, it will ask some name, okay. Query 1. Let us say you, there are different options available personal, project, or public. You can save this query at at personal level or at project level or also public. If you save it at personal level, you only can edit if it is project. The users, whoever is having access to a project level, can edit that table. Okay, so go for project and save. Now you can see save queries project level. We have one query. Click on this. Yeah. Anyway, this is. Okay. Just click on this. It will open up that query. This is how you can save queries, right? And also share. Whenever you save query, then only this option will be available, right? Here you can share this query. Already you have stored or saved this query at project level. That means whoever is having access at project level can see. If you store this or save this query at individual level, you can come to this option to share this set visibility. That means to at project level or public level, right? So these are the different sharing options available. Now we will try to see how we can query a query using BQ tool, right. This is the syntax, right. We have to use BQ tool, we have to specify the data location, this data set is available in this location and query is a keyword, right. Here it is, if you do not want to use legacy, set it as a false, that means you are going to use standard SQL, right. This is same query I am using. Now try to query this table just paste over here in the cloud shell. Now, it will return those results, okay. This is how you can query using BQ command line tool, right. So, the last option query using Python API, simple. So, we are using BigQuery client, this is same query I am using, right. I am using query method, I am just passing that query and I am trying to print rows one by, by one by one in a for loop. Just try to execute this script, right. You can see the results, okay. So, this is how you can query data using different option, okay. Thank you. Thank you, y'all. We will meet in the next video.